how to integrate Google Calendar with Monday.com. Now, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually do this. It is not that hard, so just follow along and you will get there. Now, I am over here in this random board that I created uh, just to show you guys for this tutorial. And what I want to do is simply go to integrate right over there. And once I've clicked on there, you want to make sure you are in the integration center. Now, it can be that it will show up here, Google Calendar, or you can actually search for it. So once you search for it, it will also show up in here. So if I click on there, you can now see three sort of like automations or uh, connections or integrations. Um, and then you can choose which one you would like. So when an item is created or updated, create an event in Google Calendar and sync future changes from this board. Or when a person is assigned to someone, create an event. When an event is created in Google Calendar, create an item in. Um, so these two are from Monday.com to Google Calendar. And this one is actually from Google Calendar to Monday.com. So that's actually pretty nice. So you can, for example, choose all of them or just choose one. I'm going to go with this one. Once I click on there, it says Google connect your Google Calendar account. So you want to click on connect. Then here, select a Google account. I'm going to go with this one. And then you want to select all. Scroll down, click on continue. And then over here, you have the integration. So when an, auto, an item is created or updated, create an event. So you want to click on here and then this will pop up. So the start time. So you can, for example, uh, choose the date from the board columns and then end time. You could also choose the date from the board columns, uh, a title. You can add a title yourself or click on this plus icon. So for example, board columns, item ID, name, recurring status. So these are all the columns that you can actually choose from. So I'm going to do uh, select item ID uh, or no, actually I'm going to choose name and then description. You can, for example, leave this off if you don't even have a description, by the way, or for example, item ID uh, and then location. This is also optional, actually, because you might not even have a column with the location, just like the description. I don't even have those. Then click on done and then add to board. So now we have created this integration and yeah, every time when an item is created or updated, we can create an event automatically in Google Calendar. So that is basically it. I hope this step-by-step -step tutorial helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did, and then I will see you next time.